Basically, so my research is about the space physics. And the space physics is means about the studying plasma phenomena and processes in our heliosphere. So it's mainly containing studies of the sun, solar wind, planetary plasma environment, including the ionospheres and upper atmospheres, for example. And my own research is dealing mostly with the Sun-Earth connection physics. So I'm studying the solar eruptions from the Sun, how they are interacting with each other and how they are interacting with the Earth, Earth's magnetosphere, driving the magnetospheric storms during which you can, for example, see the auroras and have all kind of these space weather effects. The ERC funding is of course very great opportunity. ERC funding makes the progress faster because you can fund several people who are working with this field. So for example, the ERC funding I got, I can uh, hire about five five persons to do this research, to fully commit to this research. The most significant effects of the space weather are because our modern society is becoming more and more dependent on this technological system. There is more and more satellites whose, uh, who can be severely damaged during this increased radi radiation during the space storm. Also, for example, commercial airlines route, they might be affected by these space weather storms, in particular those at high, high latitudes. And then it's of course the astronaut safety. So when there's big solar storm, it's not very healthy to be working outside of your spacecraft. Space is, of course, even now, we are, it's very, very lot utilized at the moment. So there's a lot of satellites who are who are doing observations that are helping the society. For example, the traffic controlling system are uh, taking these Earth observations of our planet that are used in the many, in the very various way. And of course, all these kind of the GPS communication systems, for example. And the launch of these satellites, satellites is continuously increasing. So there's more and more satellites launch and there's also this current small nanosatellite boom even that is increasing the number of the satellites that are launched. So I basically use the spacecraft data that I download to my computer, so I very rarely have a chance and go to see really through the telescope or anything like that. But of course when you go out somewhere and you start to see the sky, it's of course very like overwhelming feeling and it puts its kind of the bigger perspective. So even though my own research is dealing with a very little part of this whole space research, it's very great to feel that you can be part of the something like bigger, something like general space exploration and space utilization and human uh, efforts going to the space. The most uh, significant goal of my ERC project is to get information systematically and realistically of the magnetic structure of the solar eruption. This is of course very, very big uh, consequences for the space weather prediction. So if we know what is the magnetic field systematically, then we can, get, then we can take advantage of this in many of these already existing space weather prediction models and simulations and get much better prediction that whether there will be the magnetic storm and how strong the storm will be. I think Helsinki University is a great place to do your ERC research. We are very like our uh, interdisciplinary university and I think we get a lot of support for our research. And thinking of my own field space science, we have very, very great group here at the university. And also if you think about the practicalities of this project, we have very great human resources at the University of Helsinki. So we get all kind of this uh, bureaucracy, bureaucratical help to carry out the project successfully.